RoboFox. With this video, we are going to start our how to build a drone series. So in this particular video, we will talk about frames, which is a very important and a necessary component of multicopters. So without any further delay, let's start this video with our drone expert Abhay Singh Lodi. So let's begin. Hello everyone. I am Abhay Singh Lodi and you are watching RoboFox. So without any further delay, let's start today's session. So in this video, we are going to talk about how to choose a quadcopter frame. Because in the market, there are a lot of frame varieties, but you don't know how to choose your frame. So after this video, you will get the answer. So the quadcopter frame is a very important thing in a quadcopter because it holds all kind of electronic stuff in a quadcopter. There are no thumb rule to measure the size of the frame, but there are most commonly used frame size like 180 millimeters to 800 millimeters. But the size of the frame also depends on which kind of drone you are going to use, such as FPV, racing, freestyle, camera drones, or nano drones. It all depends on it. The size of the wheelbase, the size of the quadcopter. So take a look on what is the frame. The frame is a structure that can hold all kind of stuff. The frame is the most important part in a quadcopter because it gives the holds for the motor, electronic stuff and the prevent to the vibration. You have to be very precise when you are going to make it. They need to be designed strong but also lightweight. So take a look on different kind of drone frame size. So now take a look on the quadcopter frame sizes. Now I am going to show you a table which can help you to choose your frame in the base of LiPo batteries and its power capacities. So take a look on it and take screenshots because it will be useful to choose your drone frame. Take a look on it. So now I am going to show you another table for to match quadcopter frame, motor, lipo battery and the propellers. So also take a look on it and take a screenshots because it details is very important. So now we are going to talk about which kind of frame material you should have to be used in the building for your quadcopter. So there are different kind of frame materials such as like carbon fiber, plastics, aluminium and other things. So step by step, we are going to take a look on it. Material for the quadcopter frame, carbon fiber. One of the most common material for multi-rotor frame is carbon fiber. It is lightweight but expensive. A great of many its physical properties are perfectly suitable for the hobby. The only catch in the carbon fiber is known to block radio signals, which is obviously not ideal for the a hobby that depends on the multiple transmissions. That means you have to exercise a bit of care in how you place antenna on your craft. It can be used through and since often. Just be aware that black signal are possibilities. Wood Wood Build a frame with wood, it's fast, low cost and does not require too much efforts. Will it not nearly as sexy as carbon fiber drone or fiberglass drone, it's very good material for is sort of things. It's cheap, RF transparent, takes brief structural overloads well, use simple abrasives and demands vibration wonderfully. Aluminium it is widely used for frame. You need to buy parts and have other tools to cut and connect them together. Very lightweight and aluminum can transmit vibration quite well. Aluminum is a fabricate and can often be 
bent back into shape after crisis. Plastic and PVC Frame usually by 3D printed with plastic. This material is lightweight, cheap and perhaps a bit of ugly for your new quadcopter frame as well as PVC. Fiberglass Another material you could consider in thin G10 fiberglass which is easily machinable. This is nice for the body area as it's RF transference. It also makes near motor mounts. All thought, it is not as important as for the arms which of the three material to use for the center plate. Carbon fiber and plywood are most commonly seen because it's the lightweight, easy to work and good vibration observing feature. So, now the time of the some important tips for the choose your quadcopter frame size. Some quadcopter frame size required the exact material or power setups to fly it, such as like Hovi King FPVs required 320 to 380 mm flyways. And in our case, if we want to build a drone, so make sure the angle between the two arms, which we 90 degree, and the arm are not twisted. So, if you are going to make a big size drone, so make sure your power setup is according to the table, which we saw previously. So, these are the some important tips. And in future, we are continue our how to build drone series. So, stay tuned with the Row Fox. So like, subscribe and share our channel. Thank you so much. We, we are, are RoboFox, Robofox and, and we, we believe, believe in, in Robotics. robotics.